All right, next day. Let's start with Jack. Jack, it is the next day. What are you doing? I'm uh, going to go outside of Hoshan, actually. All right, as you're walking out, uh, you see some people coming in. Um, make a perception. All right, you see a couple couple people walking in. One is a very uh, old, fat cattle. Uh, he is wearing a suit. Uh, he is balding. For whatever reason, he is carrying a tennis racket. <laughs> Woo! The fuck? Uh, among them, another one among them is a very, very old unicorn, not, not unicorn, very, very old reindeer. He is, uh, also wearing a suit. He has, um, his fur seems to be a shade of brown that is getting very, very close to grain. All right. And, uh, you also see... Hmm, also see some more of the, uh, crew working on the, uh, working on the arena, coming in with even more equipment. Seems to be more, uh, stone tiles, uh, metal poles, weird-looking ropes... If uh, if those if that reindeer and cow were references to real people, they just went right over my head. I know, I don't care. Cool. Just know that somebody's gonna be playing tennis soon. Yep. <laughs> On your face. Someone, oh, someone will get it and be happy. <laughs> someone. Oh. The, the two people that watch this stream or watch also, this. Also, just, yeah, so, just to make sure, I I take ten. On that crafting check, and that's thirty one. All right, that's fine. Alright, yeah. so I'll make my way out of Hoshan? Yep. Alright. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go... to that memorial I made for a flag. Alright. <laughs> he scratches his own name on the, on the stone, too. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. No, um... I am going to take off my cloak of resistance and put on my tree form cloak. And then I'm going to use what it is used for. I'm going to turn into a tree. Uh oh. You're turning into a tree? Yeah, I'm turning into a tree. It looks exactly like the one in the that uh, I made from the tree feather token because that's All why right. I inspected it. You're a tree now. All right. There is a package to somewhere that is very jealous of you. <laughs> oh, also the true wizard pops out of your chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nightmare. He starts. He starts at me. Ooh, he, ooh, he. Uh, this tree is bleeding a little. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird having him inside me. Is he really inside know. you, though? He's not inside you. Good, because Aww. I'm just going to be a tree for the rest of the day. <laughs> He's communing with me. All right, you're going to be a tree for the rest of the day. All right. Pretty much. Uh, you, you start some good uh, good uh, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, yeah, baby. Oh, and by the way, every hour that I'm a tree, I restore 1d6 health. So it doesn't matter because I'm at full, but like that's just the thing that happens. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh. right. If uh, Since you have photosynthesis and roots, you don't need to eat or drink. Yep. Yep. How convenient. Yeah. Too bad you traded in for everything else. Oh no! <laughs> Synthesis. Photosynthesis. All right. Wyoming, are you there? Yes. All right. 
on the next day, you are approached by two members of the, uh, of the, uh, order that you trained at. What was your master's name again? Semi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Semi. I love one person I didn't write down. Wow. Oh God. He had takeout. It was exposition ramen. <laughs> oh no. Turns out Simi Yi <laughs> killed your grandfather. <laughs> he killed your grandfather too, Wyoming. <laughs> and he punted your puppy into the sun too. <laughs> he killed he killed your friend. He was wow. the alligator. <laughs> <laughs> he was the alligator. Alright, Yu Ying. Alright, Yu Ying. Alright. Two members of the order approach you. Yu Ying has asked us to tell you to head to the order immediately to begin your training. They seem to not be happy that you are being offered to uh, learn the ways of the tutorial, not them. Oh, uh, thanks, both of you. I'll head over there now. All right. You start heading over, entering the uh, entering the order. You head to a Yu Ying's Yu Ying's room, and uh, seeing she is in there with Manwich of all people. They seem to be talking. You just lean on the open door. <laughs> the door is open. You can hear them. Uh, man which speaks. It's being made official today. He's been gone for too long. And she's just like, You... You can't. I know he's still out there. I know he's still alive. Whether he's alive or not isn't the problem. Starting today, officially, Lou is going to be considered dead. She's just silent. The man which is just like, I'm sorry. But... You've tried to find him, and you failed. You just... She doesn't reply, he just... Just turns and walks out. Looks at you. Sorry for killing the mood, kid. Just walks past you. Why I'm size and relief that the reunion game match isn't happening right now. <laughs> What's up? Why I'm size and relief that the rematch isn't happening right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, so then he has an. Uh, um. Seeing you called for me. Oh, yes. She wipes away some very visible tears from her eyes. I know that they've... I heard that they made it official, but that doesn't mean we have to accept it. It doesn't mean it's any more true than it was before. I know. But... Now that it's official... Even if we are to find him, he'll be considered a deserter then, and... She sighs. Ah, I see. Hmm. But that's... Not what you're here for. 
Today you'll officially begin training in the ways of the Tatori. I have called for a former master to aid in training you. <laughs> That's in character. <laughs> <laughs> She had some really good exposition ramen, too. <laughs> she, uh, she walks out. Follow me. Begins walking down the hall and makes a quick left. Uh, Wyoming nods and follows her. Or you keep walking through the, uh, the temple, make, eventually making your way, uh, down a flight of stairs. Keep going down into more of a basement area, eventually becoming uh, more dungeony than anything else. I didn't know this place uh, was so big. It is quite big. We generally do not allow m many members to come down here unless they are training like you are. The path to the Datori is, well, much more, let's say, rigorous than the training upstairs. Eventually... What? You... Much more than what than the training upstairs? You cut out. Rigorous. Rigorous. Oh, I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to oh. help save right. Hosham. She gives a nod. And you enter a room in the uh, in the basement. It is a small room about the size of a fairly large bedroom. And uh, you see the entire room is made of stone and uh, the floor is covered by this very very thin mat. She turns and looks at you. Welcome. This is what former masters have called the dungeon. Ooh, kinky. So... That's a interesting name. Well, I certainly didn't coin it. I certainly didn't coin the phrase. It's been like that for a few hundred years now. A voice speaks in. That's about right. You uh, hear a, vo a voice. A another longmo comes in. Uh, he is a um, gray longma with um, black flames. Wyoming bows respectfully. This like OC's crossover character. Mhm. Mm I gotta come up with the name of this guy. Master Guan is the most recent of our Tatori masters. I was gonna say so many years. <laughs> so looking at this uh, Longma, he is tall. Tall, not long. For, for, for yeah, he is pretty, he's pretty, he's long and he's tall. He's a tall man. Uh, for my, what's, what would your height be? Had had you actually like uh, figured out yeah, a height? I actually height? have. Wyoming's uh, three foot nine. 
Okay, three foot nine. Um, if he were, if he were, if this longbow were to stand up straight, he'd be about seven feet tall. Now he's a big boy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, just but on both hooves, he's standing about at a full height of. Mm, Five, 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 six. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> he uh, gives a nod as you bow. He uh, what? continues. What? What? Anyways, at Wyoming bows. Master Guan nods. Yu Ying continues, saying, Master Guan is the most recent master of the Tatori style, having mastered it around 50 years ago. And this little one believes he can master the Tatori style? I believe he's he is. Right. Yes. I hope to. Yes, and it's an honor to meet a master of the style. Well, might be changing your tune once we're finished. Roll save or die. You may leave us. All right. Give me one moment. So as she leaves, she slams the door shut. And he looks at you and he goes, All right. Well. Try and toss me. Toss you. Yes, I want to see how good you are. I want to get an idea of where we need to start. All right, then. Here I come. So out of character is this gonna be like just a grapple check i mean uh you can you can make a grapple check but honestly this is just fluff stuff okay i'll make a proper character sheet for him eventually right. but right now he's uh, been uh yeah this is only makes an attempt to throw him or I, could to... also, or I could use trap, which that would be a lot. Well, be a lot roll, 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 roll one, anyways. Roll one, anyway. Trap or grapple? Uh, grapple. Okay. So he's gonna spend a moment meditating first, then. Alright. I actually had a tutorial sheet a long time ago, but I lost it. Wow. Nice. Alright. Yeah, you try to just lift He gets thrown day. across the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's as light as a feather. And you try to lift him up, he just doesn't budge. He's just standing there and he goes, hmm. Well, good form. 
certainly lifting with certainly lift lifting properly. Hmm. My only cost uh, that wasn't exactly my best attempt. Well, try again. He God damn it. Oh God. <laughs> oh, well, this Wait, time when you go when when you try to lift him you just like oof hurt your back a bit and he's like <laughs> It's just nerves. No. no no no. Like this. He just grabs you and then whoosh lifts you up over your head, just slams you down hard into the ground and you there, you don't even feel mad. You feel just your body just smashing against the stone. Like the mat isn't even there. Ow. So, is... save or die roll. <laughs> Welcome to the dungeon. Why isn't this mat thicker? <laughs> if it was thicker, you wouldn't learn your lessons. Up there, people aren't trying to get hurt. But this is the dungeon. And down here, pain is one of the best teachers. I guess I'm learning a lot, then. Believe me, I have been thrown many times like you have. But we all must begin somewhere. Now, get up and try again. All right. Bombing rubs his head and gets up. Yep. Nice wow. Body me right now. <laughs> well, you did better. Okay, at this point, you might as well just take 20. <laughs> take 20 times, 19 take, times, and then... Take 20! He 10. just spends... Yeah, I mean, I'll allow it. You can take a 20. He will spend an hour throwing you around. <laughs> uh... I'll do one hey, more try. <laughs> if that doesn't work, yeah, fuck it. Alright. Hey, by the way... Again, he's like... Hmm. What's up with 16 and 18? Was I, Did I miss a roll? Or how'd you get a plus? Oh, point? yeah. Yeah, your modifier just changed in the middle for no reason. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. I still got Probably slammed like, and I stuck. Uh, like a feet or something. Better. Whatever. All right, you lift him up. You, you get, uh... You Not see... Ever, so just slightly, just slightly... You're able to get, like, him up like an inch, but just get him up like an inch. Like, hmm, not bad. You certainly have great form. Your power is definitely there. You're certainly an experienced grappler. However, I do believe that there is definitely more you can learn. Hmm. Like, hmm. All right. Well. Right. I believe the last thing I want you to show me. Hmm. Show me your best move. I guess in this case it would be your trip. Insert yeah, right, right, I can do. Insert Why Captain Falcon. just gets down on the floor and starts doing the worm. <laughs> <laughs> the classic, but it's my best move. 
I mean, it would be Jack's it's best move. To move. He is a worm. No, I'm a snake. I do the snake. What? You're, no, you're a worm with a Y. You're a worm with a Y. You know? Like oh. a dragon. <laughs> oh. A warrior. I'm a flurry of traps. Can it just be canon that that's what he looks like? Fury, Fury of Trips. Now this guy, he, yep, yep. He, he's... Oh, net oh. 20. Hey, you, you're trying to trip him up. Blocks his first, blocks his second. Like, you get that third one and... Whoosh! Actually, like, you trip him up. He whoosh, lands flat on his back. Let's all the... You're playing footsies, but then you got serious. Yeah, you have successfully tripped the Tutori Master. He's on his back like, Oh, I haven't felt that in a while. <laughs> impressive. Very impressive. Well, uh, thank you. You're pretty good yourself. I wasn't sure after that first one I'd be even able to do anything. Oh, he starts getting up like, uh, just stretches his back you hear an audible pop like this guy's back is seen some shit <sniffs> ah yes you are very talented indeed hmm. you hold great promise ah I see now where we need to start. You shall begin your training immediately. All right, good. What are we starting with? Strength training. Uh, I'm gonna need a montage. Strengthening, strengthening up your back legs. <laughs> yes, insert training montage. Now the most important. When grappling, lift proper lifting is the most important is the most important thing. And leg strength as well. It's the it's the key to our to our great grapplers. Remember to lift with your back. Yeah. Your back's the strongest muscle in your body. Sure, yeah. Uh... He uh, he wa he walks out of the dungeon for a moment. After a couple minutes, uh, he comes back with some uh, very, very awful looking weights. Just rocks with a pole in the middle of them, connecting them. Two right. rocks and a pole. He, uh... The total combined amount, the total combined weight of these is about, oh, 200 pounds. Wow, okay, that's not too bad. That's pretty easy, actually. You're going to walk around the entire, you're going to walk a mile, you're going to walk a mile around Hoshan, wearing, wearing them. them. Okay. Alright. Did I say 200? I meant 400. I meant 2,000. <laughs> Alright. Where'd that extra zero go? Alright, you are. You have the weight strapped on you, and uh, now you have to go walk a mile. Training I montage mean, music. That's not even like light. That's not that's even like medium like capacity, right? Yeah, yeah right? not really. Like, yeah, this isn't this isn't even anything. My light load is still thirty. All right, it's training. He sees that. Uh... All right, he sees that uh, you can still handle it, and he goes. He uh, he seems to put his uh, hoof to his mouth. He he does a quick incantation, on the. Uh... And the weights glow. 
Oh my god, he's a magic man. He sits on top of the waves. <laughs> and they get heavier. They're like Oreos. They got double stuffed. They're now 400 pounds total. They are now considered 600 pounds. Oh, damn. Would this technically be counting as a forced march? Cause... It does slow them down. Well, it would. Yeah, but he's uh, slow and steady, right? Yeah. So it doesn't even do anything. Well, he's struggling a little more with it. Now walk. Okay. Good trip. All right. That's pretty much going to take up most of the day for you. You're going to be walking pretty much uh, counterclockwise from... From the uh, well, not it would be a much longer run. Whole time, so it's not gonna be a mile. Yeah, a mile's not be... quite that. It's not very long. I, I assume Potion is a bit bigger than that. Yeah. Uh. Well, it's not gonna be super. It's still gonna be uh. There's there's a given path. You're basically uh told. You're basically wa walking from the uh. From the temple. To the uh, from the temple to the um, to the city hall is about a half mile, and then you're making it back, which is a to total mile. Okay. City hall is pretty close to the volcano, I guess. Well, I don't know how big the ocean is. Yeah. Well, um. The uh. Hoshan itself, at least as far as this world is concerned, it's built around the volcano. Yeah. And this temple's a little way up the volcano. Yeah. Alright. Alright. After about, I don't know, say an hour, 30 minutes... You uh you complete it on the way back. Uh, you see Guan Master Guan there is like, good, ten more times. Ten more. Ten more. Um. Okay. I can probably do that. All right. Make it twenty. <laughs> if you say you could probably do it, then let's After see. After the you fifth mile, Wyoming, make a constitution check. Okay. Ooh. All right, uh. You are fatigued. I mean, that kind of seems natural after carrying 600 pounds after five miles. Uh, after the sixth mile, make me one more. Just checking to make sure that doesn't affect my port save. It doesn't. Okay. No. Oh. Wow. You collapse. In a nice spot. Oh. Eventually, uh, you, you collapse just before finishing the six mile. He, uh, Master Glenn walks up to you. Six miles on your first try is nothing to. Oh, it's nothing to be uh, disappointed about. Very impressive. Most first trainees don't even get past three. Oh, Did he come to a collapse body? 
He starts undoing your the uh He starts undoing the weights. But well I had a few more things planned, but with this I believe we will have to cut things short. You've done well. Do not get me wrong. You have shown amazing promise for your first day of training under this style. Go and get some rest. You have definitely deserved it. Uh, all right. Thanks. You can't. <laughs> you can't. I'd like to do more, but yeah, you're probably right. <clears throat> I cut the jet. You are cam. fatigued, but not exhausted. And once the uh, the weights are taken off of you, uh, albeit sluggishly, you can move again. Wyoming stands up and stretches out. Bows again to um, yeah, just like just like just like Master Guan, you begin to hear the sounds of audible popping from your bones. We will continue our your training tomorrow. To see you here bright and early in the morning. Of course. He gives he gives a nod and uh, a slight bow to you, in respect. Gives a bow. He gives him a bow. Small one. A plush sheet. Everybody oh, that's a plush sheet. Oh, oh. Why is everyone giving you bow dolls? Where are you getting those? I didn't sign off on the copyright. Um, That's why everyone's I, giving you those. I may have done that. <laughs> Lily's Better. just, just I'll making... Cut back to Jack Cam real well, quick. Um, yeah, Jack Cam. Unless anything... Unless anyone else wants to do anything, I think I will be cutting session here. Jack Cam uh, wants I to do something. Jack Cam. I'm going to get back and jump on Wyoming. I'm going to say something real quick. I, I have a gift for Jack, but I but, don't care enough to actually go give it to him until I'm done. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i a, I'm a tree. He's well disguised. You can't find him. That's true, too. You're a tree. Ryan wants the shop, which we can do off session. Yeah, but just come back to me. I want to I wanna say some stuff. And then what? we can end session. But you don't have a mouth. Well, I can still think. I can have an inner monologue. You must scream. Jack thinks yeah. two thoughts. He has no mouth and he must scream. I'm not talking. I'm not speaking. I'm thinking. Well, then just gonna hear my inner monologue. Just think. Just think. <laughs> it's a free action to think. <laughs> hey, it's an interrupt right. action to think. You can do all so, that. So, well, back at... Stop talking over here. Back at Tree Jack, you just see a tree next to another tree. But you hear this one's thoughts because plot. You hear Jack think about, oh, you know, I never thought about it, but being a tree is nice. I might want to stay like this. Maybe I can stay a tree forever, you know? Just never have to leave. Okay, so we're referring Jack, got it. And there, while you are thinking this, Jack, a dog mm. comes up to your tree, and he pisses on it. <laughs> and that's mm. where we end session. <laughs> I mean, trees leave a lot. Huh. Huh. Okay, so we're retiring, Jack, and we're getting another game. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how Jack is retired. A dog pisses on him. <laughs> oh, shut up! No, he just stays a tree forever. <laughs> he liked, he liked it. <laughs> yes, it's, 
that's exactly <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's, where, that's, uh, yeah, that's where we're ending session. With, uh, awful, awful comedy. <laughs> but at least it's not the racist session. No, of course not. That's how we're <laughs> Awful comedy is how we should end every session. It's not the racist yeah. session. <laughs> not the racist session! Not the racist session! Stop it! They're gonna get us banned! <laughs> Okay, and I'm so, not gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna blame me, and I'm gonna point to all of you, fucking being racist. You know, we should all really get some exposition ramen next time. Yeah, everyone should get some exposition ramen next time to find out that uh, that <laughs> Ilos killed your grandfathers <laughs> and kicked all your puppies into the sun. Kicked all that's your what, puppies. That's what linked us all together before we even met. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> so I didn't he... even know my grandfather was dead yet. Well, <laughs> now you know. Now you know! Turns out that eight years ago, Ilos is the one who killed all his parents. <laughs> no, grandparents. He, he only Ilos, targets... Ilos is the one. You, you, you eat some exposition ramen, Lily, and you re you realize that Ilos is the one who kicked you off that ledge. <laughs> off that ledge? <laughs> of of the, the, the ledge of destiny where you lost your parents. <laughs> I. <laughs> Yes, Wait. it turns out, like, uh, back. Like, you, you, you were just there having a good time, eat, eating a picnic, all of a sudden you just see some longma come up, you just punch a kid down a fucking cliff. Yep, that's, uh, 40 years ago, that's how she lost her original oh. parents. Oh no. Yep. She was punching oh, off the cliff and then wandered through the forest. So, uh, did Simi Yi kill Mufasa? So we're playing the beginning of...